Hey guys, it's Josh, Tony Ridge Farmer. Today is the day. Our baby chicks right here are ready for slaughter, okay? They started to crow, which means it's almost too late. We've had them for about eh, six to eight weeks, something like that. I've got the records in the house, but anyhow, we're gonna take our chicks today and we're gonna show you how to slaughter them. We're not going to pluck them, we're going to skin them. So we're not gonna eat the skin anyway, so there's no use in keeping the skin. We're gonna take our chicks, gonna show you how we skin them, how we gut them, how we process them, and how we get them ready to put in the freezer for our family to eat this year. So come along with me and we'll show you how it's all done here on the Stony Ridge Farm. All right. Woo! Stony Ridge. America, baby. Woo! So guys, we either have 14, 13, 14, or 15 chicks. I haven't counted them in a while. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get us a table, basically just a Rubbermaid type table, and we're gonna set it up out here, get a couple knives, a couple kitchen shears, and we're gonna go ahead and skin the chickens, get them in coolers full of ice so that tomorrow or tonight I can cut them into quarters, vacuum seal them, and put them in the freezer. FYI, I'm not gonna take you in and show you how to quarter a chicken. If you don't know how to quarter up a chicken, then you need to learn. Pick up a chicken at the store and learn how to cut it into pieces. Some people don't know how to handle a whole chicken. Like they think it just comes in whole breast sections or it just comes like that. A chicken doesn't come like that, okay guys? Learn how to butcher meat. Learn how to handle meat. Go buy a whole chicken if you don't have chickens like this and cut it up. Cut it into breast sections. Get the little breast tender fillet out. Cut the leg off. Cut the thigh off. And fry some chicken. Woo. So the first thing you want to think about is trying to keep the mess off of you. I'm going to wear some nitrile gloves, some black nitrile gloves while we do this. We've got a couple different knives that we're going to use, mostly small paring knives and skinning knives. I'm also using the outdoor edge knife, which is really good for processing any kind of meat, basically field dressing any kind of meat. The, the outdoor edge knife really excels. I've got kitchen shears, and we'll use kitchen shears a whole lot during this process. We'll cut the feet off, we'll cut the wings off, we'll cut several pieces off. Now you might say, Josh, why are you wasting this? Why why are you wasting that? Well, we're not wasting. There's a little tip on the wing that we're gonna throw away. I don't eat chicken feet. If you eat chicken feet, good for you. Send me a message and I'll mail you some chicken feet. No, I won't mail you any chicken feet. I'm sorry, that's gross. So where we go from here is we want our table set up high enough to where we're not bent over, crouched over like, oh, my back. The whole time you're working, you're gonna be working with these chickens for probably two hours here. You want running water. You don't wanna be crouched over like this and you wanna have a good little setup. Today, we're gonna do kind of a quick little setup and get our water out. That way we can always rinse our hands. We can rinse our birds. We can get our birds in ice. And that's the thing. We wanna get our birds killed cleaned and on ice and cool as fast as we possibly can without getting any poopy on our meat. So I'm gonna head to the store right now and I'm gonna get us a few bags of ice. Guys, we're getting ready to get started. I'll show you what we've got here. I've got our chickens in a cage here on the back of the gator. We put about five chickens in there at a time. We've got 17 chickens to do today and we'll take one chicken at a time and do those. We're gonna go ahead and process them on this table right here and I'll show you the table. Got water running all the time. Got this for yuck and guts and stuff and we've got a uh, trash bin to put that stuff in. Over here we've got cool water in a swimming pool and that's nice and cool, about 55 degrees. We'll pre-cool the birds before we put them in the ice cold coolers and that way we don't melt all of our ice right away. So that's the setup, that's what we're doing here. We're gonna go ahead and get to processing these birds. We've got 17 birds to do, probably take us a good hour and a half. We'll uh, also have a little pan set aside for the livers and the gizzards and the hearts. So guys, from here we take our table here. I've got a cutting board on one side and I've got the other side just blank. And this is just a plastic table. I think it's a lifetime brand. Picked it up from Walmart for 20, 30 bucks. And I have my water going constantly so I can rinse hands and rinse bird as we go. So what we're gonna do, we've already dispatched the bird. Basically what we do is we slit their throat, slide them in a bucket, let them pass away humanely. Then we pull them up here, we clip off the wings, we clip off the feet, and we clip off what I call the tutor, the part on the end, the butt part. And then we'll take the bird, We'll cut out his rectum area and we'll cut his crawl, which is up next to his neck. And that's where the food is stored prior to digestion. Then we'll take the bird, strip the skin off, peel it back. Sometimes it's tough to get the skin off of the wings, but we'll show you. This is real life. This is the real way we do it. This works. We don't get sick. We take care of ourselves. We take care of our animals and we do this humanely. This is how we do it. We'll show you. All right, so I'm going to show you exactly what I do. You won't get any close up shots, but I'll describe to you what I'm doing as I'm doing it so you understand. We've got our chickens already in a five gallon bucket over here. We cut the throat, we put them in a five gallon bucket, we let them bleed out, 
We bring them out of the bucket and up onto the table. This is our dirty area. This is our clean area. We've got cool running water going all the time. We'll take our outdoor edge knife. <clears throat> we take the feet off. If you eat chicken feet, I'm sorry, but I don't eat chicken feet. You're going to take the tips of the wings, get them at the junction of the joint right there. You're going to clip those off. Looks like a bloody disaster, I know, but guys, it'll look like clean, delicious chicken meat here in just a minute. We cut the two feet, the two wings, and then we'll go to what we call the tutor, the back end of the chicken. Somebody leave me a comment. Tell me what this part is called. Google it for me. Okay, so we got our bird right here. We're going to pinch up some skin right here on the tip of the breast. Get that skin loose. And your partner comes in. This is my dad. I guess he's Daddy Stony Ridge. You're going to pull the skin off. Basically, it just kind of comes off in chunks, sometimes big pieces, sometimes big chunks. And we're not scalding our chicken. We are pulling the skin off, okay? There are several different ways here. If you don't have $10,000 worth of chicken skinning equipment or chicken scalding equipment, this is much, much easier. Go ahead. And a healthier way to process your birds because you're not going to eat the skin anyway. Um, the skin is, you know, has all the bad stuff in it, the fat, germs, salmonella, stuff like that. Guys, I know you're probably cringing right now. You're like, yeah, God, the guy's even wearing his watch while he works. You know what? We got a farm. It's okay to wear your watch. You got to work hard, play hard, and you got to know what time it is. Now, take my bird over here to my rinsing area. Rinse him off good. Any feather debris that might be here. One man gets on the back. One man gets on the front. He's cutting out the rectal organs. While he cuts out the rectal organs, I'm going up top here, and I'm cutting out the craw. The craw is basically like the first chamber of the chicken's digestive tract, and this holds food that's probably eaten in the last 24, 48 hours, something like that. And when we get ready to pull the intestines out, we don't want to have to pull that big chunky craw through there. Okay, so. Now we're going to flip the bird. Here's the part you pay attention to. Where the thigh muscles meet the backbone, we're going to go in here with our knife and we're going to cut. Cut down through there, cut through those bones. Take your two thumbs, put in there, pull it apart. Boom. Your thighs are ready. We're going to go in the cool water over here after we rinse them. Rinsed. Here's where your partner comes in again. He's going to pull out the gizzard, start working on it while I clean the rest of the bird up, and then we'll get ready for a couple more birds. Most of all, most importantly, rinse, 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 water, 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 okay? Water is your friend. We let these birds sit in a pool of cool water, which is about 50 to 55 degrees, until they cool off slightly, and then we'll put them in ice water to let them cool off a lot, okay? From that point, we'll take them in the kitchen, quarter them up, put them in the food saver, and uh, vacuum seal and put them in the freezer. This is 17 chickens. This will be enough chicken for us all the way through till Christmas. We're going to do one more round of 15 chickens later on in the year, so we'll have a spring kill and a fall kill. So guys, that's it for the farm vlog today. That's all I wanted to show you. I want to show you how we process a chicken here for our family. This is not USDA inspected. This is how we do our chickens for our family. Once we get our chicken operation up, they'll be USDA inspected, everything like that. But this is what we do on our farm to process our chickens. It's a small setup. It's something you might use in your own backyard. And I hope you learned a little bit of something. So this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Thanks for watching. Me and my pops kill some chickens, get them ready for the freezer. All right. Woo! We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge. Guys, I want you to know but this is real life, this is real farming, this is backyard chicken activity stuff that we're doing here on the farm, okay? This isn't cruelty to animals, this is food for our family and I want you to understand that, okay? I want you to understand that life and death is part of farming. Now, thank you for coming along with me guys, I hope to see you on the next video. Meat. Poopy. Meat. 
Poopy on our meat. <laughs> <laughs>